A team from the Seismic Research Center attached to the University of the West Indies is here in Grenada for one week to conduct maintenance work on monitoring networks for volcanoes and earthquakes. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, plans to visit these sites were postponed, resulting in the decommissioning of some devices. The team will be working along with the National Disaster Management Agency and other agencies to provide technical support. In an interview with the Government Information Information Service, Lloyd Lynch, Instrumentation Engineer at the Seismic Research Center, UE St. Augustine Campus, spoke of the current state of the networks. Some of our installations that um, are powered by battery um, have gone dead because the batteries uh, in some cases have, have reached end of life. So we are here on a mission to make an assessment of um, the, what we need to repair, but we will um, use the opportunity to you know, pick some low-hanging fruits. In other words, there are some things that we could do to restore some capabilities. Also at Sartiers, um, we have a satellite link station there, which um, was using solar power, solar power exclusively. Uh, the batteries, they are dead. We have no replacement at this time. So we'll, you know, um, place an order for the batteries. But in the interim, we can um, hook it up to the mains. Mr. Lynch says that at least two stations are operating. However, the surveillance efforts must be maximized to ensure efficiency. Um, the USGS has a monitoring station at um, the primary school at Maribou, right, Maribou. So that, that, that was, um, just went down a short time and was brought back up. So that's been um, providing surveillance. And for a good while, the, the, um, the station up at um, Karakou was also operating. Uh, at one point also, the sorters before it, the battery went dead was also operating. So we weren't totally blind. The engineer says that after the trip, a report will be submitted and hopefully they will return in 2023 to ensure that all the monitoring networks are operating. The team will visit the sister isle on Wednesday. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.